The case against former TLC reality TV personality and conservative lobbyist Josh Duggar is starting to come into focus, and the picture we can now see doesn't look especially positive for the former 910 Kids in Counting cast member. Let's delve into the latest update, shall we? Duggar, as you very likely know by now, was arrested in late April on two counts of child pornography charges. He subsequently pleaded not guilty to the heinous allegations and was released from federal custody on bond. In the months since, we've documented reaction to Josh's arrest. The fallout among his long-suffering wife, members of his immediate family and also from the couple stuck with house in the alleged pedophile has been contentious, to say the least. But what about details of the case itself? Well, you're not going to believe this. We know that a car dealership owned by Josh was raided by Department of Homeland Security agents in November 2020. Authorities believe Duggar downloaded sexually graphic material from that location involving kids under the age of 12. Cubs have thus far released information on Duggar's disgusting stash. Warning, delicate details ahead. For example, a Homeland Security investigations agent Gerald Faulkner said one discovered file contained 65 images of an underage female lying on her back and using her hands to expose her vagina and anus. Another depicted two prepubescent girls, both completely naked, laying on top of each other. A male subject is then seen penetrating one of the prepubescent females' vagina with his erect penis, Faulkner wrote in his report. As awful as it gets, and Faulkner traced the explicit materials to Josh's AP address. But how does the government know Ducker was the one who downloaded this material? According to a newly unsealed court transcript obtained by Ratter, prosecutors outlined part of their case against Duggar at his May 6th bond hearing. During this hearing, investigators laid out the evidence they possessed against Duggar. They know, for instance, that pornography was accessed on days that Duggar was at the lot of the aforementioned dealership. They explained in court at the time that he was using a program meant to hide his activity, most notably downloads from the computer in question. All of those things go to show what Mr. Duggar was doing and the links he was going to in order to conceal his activity, said the lawyers in court. There was also this shocking tidbit. The password on the computer at Duggar's workplace matched the password that Duggar used on many of his other personal accounts, including his bank account and family Instagram account. Said the prosecutors, that was the password that Josh Duggar had been using for years, and it goes to show that he's the person behind the partition, behind downloading the child pornography. In his own legal team's various responses to the charges against him, Duggar has tried to argue that the opposition is hiding evidence from him. But prosecutors say this is a ridiculous notion. Officials say they have plenty of proof that they have presented it to Josh's side and also that Duggar's character will come into play at his trial in November. This is someone who molested his own sisters when he was a teenager, and someone who admitted to cheating on his wife with women he met on the internet. Said the attorneys going up against Duggar in court. We know he's capable of hands-on offenses because he has engaged in them in the past. And we know that the child pornography that Mr. Duggar was looking at involves the sexual abuse of toddlers and young children. He has a history, a history dating back 20 years that shows his sexual attraction to children and the deviousness of his activity. Just so disturbing and depressing all around. That's it for now, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.